Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Dragon Ball NZ. My name's Ian. Uh, today, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening has been released on Nintendo Switch. So I've got the limited edition here along with the amiibo that you can buy for the game as well. So I'll be having a look at that as well as talking a little bit about the game, uh, what I'm excited about and a little bit about the original version as well, being that this is a remake. So let's get to it and have a look. All right, so here it is. If you look on the back there. And as you can see, it comes with a steel case that looks like the Game Boy version of Zelda with the game inside. Um, then you've got a normal case as well and an art book as well. And before I open this up, just give you a quick look at the amiibo that you can get for the game as well. Um, so if you haven't heard of Amiibos, they basically unlock things in uh, games, um, not just this game, but other games as well, um, items and things. But for this Link Amiibo, I believe it unlocks a Shadow Link, which you can use in, um, I think you can create dungeons or something. Um, yeah, save dungeons and you create to the Amiibo figure and share them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can, there's a shadow link as well. Um, but yeah, as I said, you can do it in other games if you've got 3DS or other games on the Switch that it may be compatible with. So yeah, it's quite cool. So let's open this up. <clears throat> okay. Wow, that's really cool. Looks just like a Game Boy. Like actually bumpy, like that's really cool. Just like the original Game Boy. Uh, one thing I miss is the the games. They don't really have um, the original one on Nintendo was in a gold um, cartridge, as well as the one on Nintendo sixty four Ocarina of Time. They had it in a gold painted gold. <laughs> that's right. Wow, that's cool. So you've got all the all these different scenes from the original Game Boy one. <clears throat> okay. And we've got the art book here. Which we'll have a look in a second. And of course got the game. Yeah, gives you a Shadow Link enemy trap for use in your chamber dungeons. So it's like a, I guess it's an online sort of thing, you can maybe play with your friends, and they can play on your dungeon and things. Yeah, that should be cool. All right, so All right. give you a decent look. So that's cool. So yeah, as as you may or may not know, obviously the original came out on Game Boy um, shortly after. A link to the past which came out on Super Nintendo. They then released a color version on the Game Boy Color um, as well which added a few features like um, there was the thing where you take photos in certain points in the game and you can actually I think print them out using the Game Boy printer um, which was a sort of a big thing back then they had the Game Boy camera and the Game Boy printer things like that. And they also added um, uh, another dungeon, a secret dungeon, I think, after you've completed the game. And um, there are also a couple of suits you can use as well. Um, yeah. 
So that's one thing I'm looking forward to in this. Maybe they'll add some more features. Obviously, there's the creating your own dungeon, which you can share with your friends. Um, also, I'll be interested as to how they'll incorporate the controls. Obviously, with the original Game Boy, you only had A and B and select and start. So you were, there was, it was quite limited. Um, so you'd have to assign um, a certain item to to A and then another one to B and then you'd just go from there but with this you know, so switch you you got a li little bit more, a few more options so yeah I feel that uh, A Link's Awakening it's not an underrated game but one that may not have that may many may not have played uh, due to it being on a um, handheld console Obviously, you can buy it on the Nintendo shops on 3DS, and um, I'm not sure if you could buy it on the Wii shop or the, uh, sorry, Wii U shop or anything like that, or on the Switch shop. I don't think you can, but but yeah, it's it's probably not one that many might have played. Played, sorry. Um, so it's good that they did decide to do a remake. And I'm upon the first trailer release of this, um, I. I was a bit, I wasn't sure about the animation style, but I think it fits perfectly <clears throat> because of it is a game that should be enjoyed by all ages. Um, so, so that style there, like a bit of um, sort of cartoonish, which I quite like. I mean, if anyone's played The Wind Waker, I quite like that style as well. It's like different, the cell shaded. <clears throat> and I actually enjoyed the two um, DS games that they released, uh, Hourglass and um, God, I can't even remember the other one, <laughs> Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Yeah, some people didn't like them, but I I, I quite enjoyed. Um, because it utilised the stylus as well, which, you know, being a DS game, you'd hope it would, and, yeah. But anyway, back to this. Um, yeah, I mean, not much to say. I mean, one thing, another thing they had in the original, I don't know if you can see it here, I'll see if I can... It had these little sections where you go down into sort of a side-scrolling mode and they actually had some characters like there was the Goombas from Super Mario which you could actually jump on, which was always quite cool. Um, so it looks like they've done that again and yeah. Yeah, and I think these are other little um, sort of cameo things featuring other characters and stuff or references. Um which is always cool. But yeah, playing this, it always reminded me of um, A Link to the Past, which, you know, I think it's probably my favourite game out of all the Zelda. It's, it, I think it was the first game I played. <clears throat> um, when, I, when I had a friend that owned a Super Nintendo, um, I never... What? I didn't own one at that time, so I... so I never got to play it very much. But um, yeah, so if, if you, I definitely recommend playing the original Link's Awakening, um, even the uh, um, either the color or the black and white version. Both of them are great games. Obviously, the color one um, will be a bit better, but being in color. Um, but, yeah. But yeah, and, oh, I mean, there's a lot, lot more other pages that I can look through, but you've got a picture of the windfish. Um, 
from the game as well. <clears throat> but yeah, not much more to say other than, you know, I'm really excited to play it and um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching um, and I'll catch you next time.